What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about Special K and Total Cereal. Now, these two cereals aren't actually that similar, but they've been inextricably linked together for years based on some commercials from back in the day. Let's take a look at one of those commercials from the 80s right off the jump here, shall we? Miss Hellman, like to try Total? I always wake up with my Special K. I'd never cheat. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> I can never get enough. Good, because you have to eat almost three bowls of Special K to get all the vitamins and minerals in one bowl of Total. Three bowls? <laughs> it's just me here. Whole Grain Total has 100% of a day's supply of 12 vitamins and minerals. Takes almost three bowls of Special K for that. Mm, Total's got what it takes. Total, one bowl, 100%. Now, to be fair, Total didn't just single out Special K. They also did this with other healthy breakfast cereals like grape nuts and cornflakes. But I've covered both those cereals in the past, and I've never covered Special K, so we're going to pair these two together today. First, let's start with Special K. This cereal was released by Kellogg's back in 1955. The cereal is just flakes made from rice and wheat. The rice in this cereal makes the flakes crispier than just regular wheat flakes. And from the very beginning, this cereal was marketed as a healthy cereal good for weight loss. Here's an early commercial targeted to overweight men. In we go, Harry. Whoop. I tell you what, you take the car and meet us there. Whoop. Time to get back into things. Eat smart at every meal, starting with breakfast. Kellogg's Special K breakfast is only 240 calories, 99% fat-free, and delicious Special K is loaded with protein. Let the Special K breakfast help you get back into things. Lightweight's up front, Harry. That's you. Did you hear how they pronounced the word protein? I remember doing a video about Life Cereal with commercials from back in the day where they pronounced it that way as well. So interesting how that word has evolved and changed. Anyway, Kellogg's would continue to market Special K as a high protein, low sugar cereal throughout the years. They even had a Special K challenge, which was a diet where you would only eat Special K and Special K snacks like cereal bars, protein shakes, crackers, and chips. Today, I think there are over a dozen varieties of Special K on shelves. Everything from fruit and yogurt to vanilla and almond to the most popular version of Special K, Special K Red Berries. That cereal comes with freeze-dried strawberries and raspberries. Fun fact, strawberries aren't actually berries. But unless you're a botanist, nobody really cares about fruit classification. So this is a box of Special K from the early 90s. This isn't what the box looks like anymore. This is what a current box of Special K looks like. You can see the box has definitely changed over the years. They still have that big red Kellogg's K symbol there. On this one, you can send away for some free Green Mountain K cups. I mean, it's not really free. It says here on the back of the box, you gotta buy three boxes of Special K cereal and then scan the QR codes or whatever to get your K cups. Anyway, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of Special K cereal looks like. Those flakes have the little bubbly rice pockets on them that makes for a crisp bite. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. If you listen, you can hear that snap, crackle, and pop sound that comes from rice flour. Yeah, it's a tasty cereal. It's got a nice sweetness level to it and the flakes stay crispy in milk. Personally, I prefer the Red Berries version because I need a little more sweetness with my cereal. But this stuff is great and that's why it's been around for so long. All right, let's move on to the General Mills competitor, Total. So Total was released by General Mills back in 1961. Right from the beginning, it was touted as a complete breakfast cereal that offered you plenty of vitamins and minerals. You can see right here on the front, it says 100% of your daily values of vitamins and minerals. So this cereal was just basically fortified wheat flakes. The flakes didn't have the same crispiness to them, that Special K, but as you can see, that didn't stop them from taking shots at that brand. You can see here on the back of the box, they do the same thing with natural generic cereal there, saying you need all these bowls of that cereal to equal one bowl of total. And again, they have plenty of commercials doing this. Here's one from back in the 80s. Morning, ladies. Morning. Morning. Like to see how your cereals stack up to total? Lovely idea. To get the vitamins in one bowl of total, it takes almost three bowls of Special K. Pass the oil brand, Gloria. Takes four bowls of that. That's why I like shredded wheat. Then you'll have to eat 12 bowls. You better loosen your girdle, Margaret. <laughs> Total has 100% of nine vitamins and iron and is rich in calcium. I've always preferred Total. Total, a stack of nutrition in just one bowl. As I mentioned earlier, they did this with grape nuts and cornflakes as well. Did it work as a marketing strategy? I mean, maybe, I guess so. This brand is still going strong today and some people really love this cereal. It happens to be my brother-in-law's favorite cereal and I'm sure he's not the only one. They've also had a handful of varieties of Total over the years, including a Total Raisin brand and Total Cinnamon Crunch. This is a box from the 80s. This isn't what the boxes for Total look like anymore. Here's what a box of Total looks like on shelves today. 
I like the blue boxes better. I'm not sure I really like the whole name in brackets there, but you can see even on today's boxes, they're still touting the 100% daily value of your vitamins and minerals. And on the back of this box, they're still going for those comparisons, except instead of cereal now, they just show you a bunch of vitamins and supplements down here that you could take instead of eating a bowl of cereal. And we could get into the value of fortified cereals versus supplements versus getting them naturally through foods, but this is a video about cereal, so let's just stick to that. All right, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of total cereal looks like. You can see just regular wheat flakes there. You can mistake this stuff for Wheaties if you were just going by looks alone. But let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. So flavor wise, this stuff has a slightly sweeter and better taste than Wheaties for me. There's a little honey flavor here and the flakes have a richer texture and flavor to them. When compared to Wheaties, which they'd never do because that's another General Mills cereal brand, this cereal seems like the superior one. But compared to Special K, well, I think I'd probably go with that one over total. Something about those crisp rice flakes makes it a better bowl for me. But these are both classic and great cereals that have had staying power for over 60 years. As a kid, I never really ate either of these cereals, but as I got older, I found an appreciation for them. Do you like either of these cereals? Do you have a preference? Let me know down in the comments. All right, well, that's gonna do it for Special K and Total Cereals. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. I'd rather eat three bowls of this than one bowl of Total. Cereal time.